Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to test this boost converter that uh, has an input of 4.5 to 32 volts and output of 5 to 42 volts, 6 ampere. So I'm going to test it and see how this handles uh, and how it behaves in terms of voltage regulation and current handling. Let's get started with this. In this video we're going to test this with input of 30 volts and see what output we can get then we go 24 volts standard voltage of 15 volts 12 volts 9 and 5 volts and we see what voltages and what currents we can get with this device also we're going to check the ripple voltage at the output and see how much noise or ripple it has at the dc at the output when the load is connected this module have been labeled and sold as boost converter that uh, has an input of 4.5 to 32 volts and output of 5 to 42 volts 6 ampere we're going to test it and see and how much current it can handle this is the module it seems very solid build instead of terminals they've just left the uh, holes for the soldering so this is voltage out plus minus on this side so vn plus minus here that's the input and adjust the voltage using this multi-turn potentiometer two different chip here inductor here A length of the module is 60.2 millimeter the width is 30 millimeter 29.9 millimeter depth of the module is 20.2 millimeter it weighs 40 grams I've now connected it this is the input and as you can see the voltage is 16.3 volts and this side is uh, connected to the uh, load and here is my load the output voltage is now 21 volts and the current is 2 ampere reminder that for uh, booster converters we have to have some kind of load otherwise when you increase the voltage the voltage will build up and eventually will damage the output stage out 2 ampere to uh, avoid any uh, sudden rise of voltage what going to do is the uh, uh, voltage regulation let me put it at the lowest voltage and check all the highest voltage that we can get the minimum is 5 volts so I'm setting this to 5 volts so this is 5.15 so 5 volts input 100 millivolts difference I will try to fix it now mm, only a 2 ampere we have and as you can see the output is now 10 volts this is already very hot this has been rated at 5 ampere and the output is 2 amp let me make it 1 amp as the load changed the voltage also changed so let me just change the voltage here I'm rotating it clockwise no effect now slowly it seems decreasing let's see what is the minimum that we can get 4.68 now I'm going up clockwise now it's increasing let's see so with the 5 volts we're getting around 5 volts output and uh, this is the maximum that we can get now if I change the input let's see if the output changes significantly so let me put it at 12 volts let's see what we can get with 12 volts Ampere, it's already so hot almost it's burning 
40.4 and now it's clicking yeah, I don't know if you can hear it let me point the microphone so when it clicks that's the end so this is the maximum that we can get with 12 volts input very hot with one ampere it's already hot so 40 volts one ampere now I'm testing it as boost converter 30 volts input and as you can see 36 volts output and let me increase the current it's already hot Three ampere, four ampere, so the voltage dropped even with that. So five ampere, it cannot, it cannot tolerate. It's already very hot, but let me just adjust it. So 5 ampere output, 36 output, as you can see it's being dropped. Input is 6.1 ampere. Hot, it cannot deliver 5 ampere. Let me go 4. Pay attention to the voltage, already increased significantly. So it's very So that's now 36, 4 ampere, and input is 4.9 ampere. Set this uh, input 30 volts, output 36 volts, with 3 ampere, it, it, it's able to handle only 3 ampere with input 3.7 ampere. It doesn't go below, so that's the uh, minimum that I can get. Now input is 24 volts, I'm going to test it with 36 volts at the output. Currently we have 3 ampere, I'm sure it can handle it, but let me just increase and see the voltage stability, that will talk immediately. So immediately almost 3 volts, 2.5 volts drop when I make it 4 ampere. 3 ampere, 700 millivolts drop, not acceptable. 2 ampere, it can deliver only 2 ampere. Input is 3.1 ampere. Now input is 15 volts, I, I expect to get 36 volts and it's not delivering 36 I'm going with the maximum the click is hurt 6 does not work now I'm testing 15 input 24 volts output 2 ampere we will check the stability the voltage should not drop 3 amp 400 millivolts that's fine 500 millivolts if I go 4 unacceptable even this one is 700 millivolts drop unacceptable 2 ampere only it can deliver 2 ampere input is 3.4 ampere Input is 12 volts, 
with 2 ampere it doesn't even give above 26 now I'm testing it with 5, 12 volts input 24 volts output I've connected 2 ampere let me just increase and see uh, this is 24.3 it's already 300 millivolts above so as soon as I made it 3 ampere drop significantly 2 amp worked input 4.4 ampere now input is 9 volts let's get 36 let me reduce it to 1 amp so with 1 amp it gives only 35 but not 36 so 36 is out of question even 1 amp will not work let's go with the next one 24 volts 9 volts input 24 volts output let's go 2 ampere 2 ampere significantly reduced almost 3 volts unacceptable 1 amp it can give you 1 amp only input is 2.9 ampere nine volts input 15 output it's one ampere let's increase it the voltage should not drop significantly more than 500 millivolts so two ampere is good let's go three ampere three ampere also good let's go four ampere significantly reduced so three ampere acceptable 9 to 15 3 ampere input is 5.5 ampere nine volts input 12 volts output it's one ampere let's increase the current to two ampere still 12 volts that's good three ampere still 12 volts that's good four ampere 12 volts good let's go five 900 millivolt drop unacceptable 4 amp input is 5.9 ampere 5 volts and let me see if the maximum that I can get with 1 ampere so 18 volt is the maximum that I can get let's go with a standard voltage of 15 volts 15 v 5 volts input 15 volts output 1 ampere load I'm changing it 2 ampere significantly reduced does not work only 1 ampere input is 3.5 amp Now 5 in input, 12 volts output, 1 ampere, let's just increase it. Cannot handle 1 ampere. Input is 2.7 ampere. Five volts input, nine output, one ampere, let's increase it. Two ampere, still good. 3 ampere more than 5 milli 500 millivolts unacceptable so 2 ampere per and input is 4.3 amp now we are going to uh, see the ripple voltage input is 12 volts and output as you can see is here 24 volts only 1 ampere so we can have some load and here is the voltage on the oscilloscope and this is around 25 volts or 24 volts here uh, the ripple is the ripple on the voltage or due to the switching frequency or the conversion from ac to dc which is uh, which appears at the top of the voltage so if i set this to if i set this to 
to ground, that's zero. If I put it on DC, so that's the voltage that we are reading. Now, if I change this to AC, we will get only those portion of ripple. Now I have to... As you can see, we are getting around 1.5 volts of ripple here, which is not good. It should be around maximum 100 millivolts or something like that, but this is now at one ampere. Now let me increase the current and see what happens. At two ampere, as soon as I increase the load, the ripple have increased. Now the ripple has, has increased at 12 input and 24 output, it can handle only two ampere. So at two ampere, we are getting 2.2 volts of ripple. Voltage is five volts, and we are checking the output voltage. So pay attention here. Volts input, 15 volts output, and here is the ripple. One point seven two volts. Now it's one amp. Let, let me change it to two ampere, and the ripple has increased significantly. That's now two volts ripple here. So for conclusion that this device for conclusion, this is only boost converter. You will not be able to get any uh, back converter or down converter. So whatever input you have, you will have to get always above that voltage. And in terms of uh, boost converter, uh, it mostly will give you one or two ampere, very stable, and the results were presented otherwise. You need to increase the size of this heatsink significantly or put a fan that blows continuously and cool this down. Uh, thank you for watching. This was all the possible combination of input and output voltages. Please make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.